Alrighty, so I have a butterfly. Aspegeria subly? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, and I'm probably uh, totally getting the name wrong. Spigura Cybel? Hard to say, but I really like this photo because we could see we could see a lot of good stuff on this uh, butterfly. Uh, this is the first butterfly that I'm drawing on my channel. I have um, I have not drawn a butterfly yet, which is uh, interesting. Um, they're really hard to get good photos of, considering. You know, we see its head here, its eyes, uh, its proboscis, which is in this uh, flower. We see um, its antenna, its two antenna. One of them is facing more towards us, so we can't see uh, all the individual aspects of it. But we could see uh, a good amount of its legs. I'm pretty sure, like, you know, it's an insect. It's got six legs. Although I can't see all of the legs. It's interesting. I'm wondering if uh, they're either tucked behind the butterfly in some way, because I know some bugs will, I don't know, tuck certain legs, keep them hidden. Um, but I can see a leg here, I can see a leg here. I, I think there'd be a leg here, but I don't see it. And uh, there's a leg back here. The other two legs are probably just obscured based on the uh, perspective. But yeah, a lot of the times, more often than not, they're just uh, tucked in their body. They just don't have them out um, compared to insects that may have lost them in uh, battle. That does happen sometimes on rare occasions in which you'll see a bug missing an antenna or maybe it has a bite out of its some area on its body somewhere. So that does happen. I think it is important to, uh, to keep that in mind. So I know as gruesome as that sounds, um, sometimes bugs do not always get uh, eaten case in point, I took some pictures of uh, snails the other day, and uh, apparently one of the snails had a uh, hole in its shell. I was like, whoa, what's that? And apparently uh, snails will cannibalize other snails for calcium if they're, uh, if they're, I think the right word is deficient, or you know, if they're low on calcium, they'll uh, steal it from another snail. I'm like, wow, that must hurt. <laughs> but apparently they can repair. So, Hopefully that happens. Okay, to start off, I'm going to start off with, you know, I've been thinking maybe I should flip it. I think I'm going to work with the flip view instead of the original view. Sometimes I feel a bit more comfortable working in uh, this way. So I'm going to start off with the uh, ball of the head. And uh, now we can see the thorax. It's really uh, quite interesting. It looks a bit fatter than uh, I anticipated. You know, when you look at its thorax, it kind of like bulges out here. I mean, that may be a little bit of an additional form. And it kind of like goes under here a bit. So uh, I think it's interesting to uh, try to make it a bit thicker. It's a bit too big. And I angled it a bit wrong. I think that works. It may be a tad bit larger, but I think it works. I think it'll look good after I add more uh, structure, but I'm just focusing on the initial gesture of the insect. Um, when I say gesture, it's kind of like a step I do before construction in which uh, you focus on the feel and the uh, essence of the given insect before you go into drawing the individual structure of the insect. I mean, I usually try to summarize that either in uh, straight lines, rarely, more often than not, uh, S curves, or a variation, C curves, or uh, say an ellipse of uh, varying degrees. But yeah, sometimes I will use lines occasionally, very rarely, but I do use them once in a blue moon. Okay, now to draw the uh, abdomen. And it's always, it's really uh, interesting because I do know that, um, you know, these butterflies, you know, they come from a caterpillar which becomes a cocoon or chrysalis and then becomes a butterfly. It's um, really amazing. And I, I should have known this, I feel, but I didn't at the time that um, 
you know, of course, caterpillars have all of those uh, things inside them. They have the, uh, um, they have thorax, abdomen, and the head that uh, liquefies and comes together again to create our butterfly. I think it's a little thicker than I made, so I'll try that one more time, but I am going to add more onto it as I go. I think that summarizes it well. I, I was thinking originally that maybe I should try to focus on the shape, which seems more a bit like a side of a pentagon, but I did it uh, this way, but I will add on to it at the end um, on the structure layer as I go. So now what I want to do is I want to add pilot holes for the uh, legs on the uh, thorax. And it's an insect, so six legs, even though we can't see all of them. I always do try to get in the habit of uh, drawing the holes where they may, they may go. And I think I drew the holes a little bit too big Sometimes there are insects that have uh, connections that are a little bit larger, but sometimes you do get them in which uh, they're relatively thin, but not always. It's always beneficial to have a view of their underside where the legs attach, but may not always be possible. Okay, so now what I want to do is I am going to jump to the construction layer because sometimes there are only things that I can add once I add some more construction on like I will have to jump between uh, if you look where my mouse is over here sometimes I will uh, jump between the structure and gesture layer in some of my videos I may have uh, I may not have done that but okay now what I want to do is I want to add um, I want to add a kind of like a pilot hole you could think of it as it being where the eyes will go. Because there's this uh, form. Kind of looks like a bit of a cylinder to me. Like a pill shape. On the head. And um, I will color in the eyes. The reason why I did that initial circle, that's actually not the eye, that's more of the pivot. Think of like an eye socket. because the eyes kind of bulge out weirdly. But I will color in the eyes, even though the eyes are a bit uh, spotted. The eyes kind of look like a ladybug to me, but I'm pretty sure those are its eyes and not a ladybug. You know, what's interesting is it, it looks like the eyes get a bit thinner. They kind of look a bit more less like a ball that I made and more like a cap. So I'm trying to reflect that in the uh, drawing as much as I can. Okay. So now what I want to do is, um, there's a structure here. It's a bit difficult to see. It kind of like, it kind of like does that. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm gonna go back to the gesture layer and I wanted to draw a bit of a pilot hole. It's really small, but you can see the proboscis. The proboscis kind of like does that then it goes that, and it kind of, it pretty much disappears within the flower. Sorry, let me do that one more time. But yeah, it disappears within the flower. And I'm not gonna be able to draw all of that proboscis. I know their proboscis C's are pretty long, which is a shame that you can't always see it, but it's a, it's a hard thing to capture. And I know uh, butterflies are incredibly difficult to uh, capture. So awesome that James got this. Um, you know, the reason why they're difficult to uh, capture is because more often than not, they make a tasty meal. 
a delicious meal for um, various insects, other insects that may uh, want to chomp on them. So they uh, are pretty cautious. You know, they're just not willing to uh, stick around. But okay, we have that. And now I want to draw the antenna. And the antenna, there are just like two holes on the head. I see like one hole here and another hole about here. This antenna, the one closer to us, is like about there, kind of facing us. It's a bit hard to see, but it looks like there's something at the end there, and it's kind of that directly facing us. And the other antenna goes, it's very straight. Yeah, about here. Um, now what I want to do, I want to jump back to the structure layer and kind of add some things that I'm seeing on the uh, thorax. It kind of looks a bit like you get to a point and it kind of like overhangs a bit before it comes back around. Um, I'm trying to think what that is. It kind of looks like it's more in the mid of the body. But even I'm having a difficult time trying to think of what it uh, can be. But I am seeing some intermediary connecting areas between the head and thorax kind of just like hangs or glues them together and the other one's kind of like right here on the head a bit perhaps I should have maybe I could like erase some holes on the eyes to try to emphasize how it is I'll do that real quick I'm usually against adding uh, detail in these videos that I do I mean I add some detail of course to try to uh, differentiate what's what and in general I don't really uh, draw the hair although things like those are important they're not always on my focus in these uh, videos and the reason is for more uh, education purposes if that uh, makes sense okay um yeah darn I can now I keep no, it is big. There's like a lot of fur, so maybe I kind of drew the thorax a bit too large, and I guess you could say I did that because um, I was compensating for the fur on its body. So near the end of this uh, abdomen, it looks a bit sharp. It's not. I'm pretty sure it's just the way its uh, body is. But now I just wanted to put a focus on it real quick. I'm not sure if that's like it's uh, anus or something like that. It very well could be, I don't know. I'd have to read a book on butterflies, but um, okay. So now what I want to do is um, I'm seeing, I think that's just fur there. I hate to draw that because there's just a lot of fur all over its uh, body. Okay, I want to draw the wings now. And man, these wings are big. It's got what looks like four of them. And they attach to uh, sides that we really can't see, but they're like over here and here. And uh, these ones, I know there are two over here, but they're just a bit overlapping. And I know we could say the wing attachment is probably on this area. So sometimes they're a bit difficult to see. The other thing is I drew a slit that I'm going to be using to uh, help orient myself for the wing. When I try to draw it uh, very generally, but I think the important thing is, uh, if you ever do look at the connection details, um, you know, it's probably has yeah, a thickness to it with how the wings attach to the body. And I guess you could say they look more like an oval rather than a slit. But I drew um, that because if you think of like a penny and you put it on its side, it's kind of like, it looks like a line, which, you know, you could think of it as just, uh, well, is what I said before. It's just a very thin area that uh, connects to it all. Okay, wings are always kind of hard to draw because uh, they're really they're really long. They're very uh, gestural, which helps uh, add to the complexity of it. I'm trying to think how 
fire goes off the body. Or comp I'm trying to make uh, comparisons between how I think it would be even lower. But yeah, sometimes uh, you may have to do it a couple times to get in the flow. But I'm probably not going to draw every uh, groove and curve of the wing. Uh, you very are welcome to do it, but it is um, a challenge not for the faint of heart. More often than not, just because of the uh, layers of complexity. Like I would say maybe there is some of that other wing kind of uh, peeking out. And you do have some areas here that kind of do a bit more of a curve in than what I uh, portrayed. And the wings are also very straight. So, I mean, not straight, like they do have a certain degree of thickness. Like the wings do have a thickness, even though it's like they're paper thin. But just uh, keep that in mind. And it looks like there's some fluff here. I'm pretty sure that's not on the wings. But okay, now for the other wings, um, I'm going to try to think of a way I can constrain the wings. Sometimes it can be beneficial for you to uh, plot out things here and there. Although I will have to leave that up to you to exercise. Um, yeah, sometimes there is a certain degree of estimation to do. Like even in this wing here, it looks like there's a gap. Uh, it's hard for me to tell whether that's um, intentional or whether something took a chomp out of it. <laughs> I haven't looked at enough of these uh, butterflies to tell. It very well could be an intentional thing. But you see, I put a point here, I put a point here, which I'm going to use to help uh, orient myself as I go. And you'll see, like, as I drew this line, I kind of ignored that uh, chomp. I mean, I hate to call it a chomp. It's like a gap in the wing. It's still there. I just uh, didn't draw it because usually I don't focus on the uh, patterns. You very well could focus on the patterns. I guess the other important thing about the patterns is that they are not flat. They all have a... Uh, they all have like a 3D nature to the ribbing network of the butterfly, which I do believe is important to uh, keep in mind. I'm also going to start here when I go up. Now I'm going to connect down. Okay. The other wing is uh, neatly tucked in to the other side, like over here. So it's a bit uh, difficult to see, but there's so much uh, overlap going on, so it becomes a bit of a gain. But we can kind of uh, estimate it, because if you see near the end of its abdomen here, we can kind of like draw a wing line here that kind of curves a little bit, because that could be like the end of it. And um, it tucks into the wing about here, so then we could just uh, generalize it. Draw it over here, but I guess the important thing to know is that it does come back and connect well I guess a bit wider like it does do that even though I'm not uh, deciding not to draw it and the other important thing is look at all the ribbings on those uh, individual sections of the wing this butterfly has so much so much complexity and it makes them a very interesting challenge um, butterflies and moths are uh, incredibly incredibly interesting I think it was it was at Maria Mar Marion that um, did research about the uh, chrysalis. I think so. I don't have a book on her. I was going to get a book on her, but um, I think it was like a couple hundred dollars. So I was like, yeah, I better not, which is a shame, but yeah, sorry, I went on a tangent with that. The point I'm trying to say is uh, butterflies are incredible things to uh, study. And you could spend a lot of time drawing them and people love butterflies and art that's the one thing <laughs> you know and of course um they are quite they are quite to the um they are quite the garden pest believe it or not everyone loves butterflies but no one likes to talk about how uh devastating they are to nature um i mean i love butter i love all bugs i really can't tell you a bug that i don't like um but the point i'm trying to say here is that um yet yeah, bugs are in uh, butterflies in particular are pests they eat 
uh, vegetables and flowers. I mean, it's not their fault. I don't mean to call them a pest, but I mean, like, if you're trying to make them produce of any sort, it can be an incredible challenge to do. So I'm going to keep uh, drawing as I go. I'm going to try to focus on some of the uh, ribbings and kind of show the how they kind of bulge as they come back. But uh, yeah, butterflies are pests. They, when they lay eggs, they lay a bunch and uh, their caterpillars eat. They uh, eat food like there's no tomorrow and they engorge on tons of... Uh, Maybe I won't draw them all throughout the layer. Um, but yeah, they engorge and they just eat plants, destroy crops. So they are quite the uh, thing to be aware of when if you're trying to uh, have a garden of any sort. But they are quite beautiful to look at, I will say that. Yeah, there's so many of these ribbings on the butterfly. It's almost difficult to uh, do properly. I'm probably messing it up a little bit. The other thing is some of these uh, things kind of go in, they kind of fold into other ones, as difficult as it is to uh, see. I'm really beginning to think that chomp there is uh, a war, uh, like, a, like a battle. It was a insect battle that it won or ran away from, I guess fight or flight <laughs> but yeah butterflies are uh, they're always moving and they're smart too considering they can make a good meal although there are some butterflies that have uh, they taste really bad so they act as a deterrent But yeah, butterflies, they are um, quite interesting, I must say. But yeah, no one likes to talk about how bad they are if you're uh, growing crops. But yeah, I do recommend you pick up a book on butterflies if you're uh, interested. Learn about their whole life cycle and how they uh, you know, lay clusters. I think the word for a cluster, is it a gall? I don't know. I really messed up the ribbing. Like there's a lot, like there are smaller ones in the intermediary areas, but you probably wouldn't want to draw that. I mean, you very well could, but I'm also not focusing on the patterns here as well, but I will try more to uh, do the ribbings because I do find that an important structural aspect. Yep, it's so interesting. Very, uh, would the right word, right word be mesmerizing? I think they say that um, moths are like ancient butterflies, which are in the same family, and they're both uh, pests of some sort. If you ever, if you ever have a room in your uh, living area that has uh, mothballs, you know they'll eat. Uh, is it cotton or linen? I don't know. They eat one of them, so you do have to be cautious of that if you. Uh, live in an area with many moths. And the, the ones over here, concerning the perspective, they look more like uh, ribbons a bit. They look more like, kind of like that. Not the best, but um, I think I do kind of get some of the point across with this um, butterfly. There are also some areas I'm seeing they're kind of bulging out. I 
it is important to uh, keep in mind. But yeah, I see some like hair and I'm just quickly trying to put that in, even though I don't draw hair. But yeah, um, now let's move on to the uh, antenna. Um, the antenna are very thin, but like I can see at the end, they have like these uh, bean-like shapes. It's ever so thin. I'm trying to do it without um, making it too thick. There's a bean over here, but uh, it's just kind of going into the antenna, so it's kind of hard to uh, see it based on the perspective compared to it being much more uh, being like over here. Yeah, sorry, I'm probably using too big of a tool when I'm uh, drawing this. You know, I want to draw more to the antenna, but I think the thickness speaks for itself. Okay, now I want to draw the uh, proboscis, which I may not even need to do that because of how it's just so thin I probably don't need to do that because uh, it would just add unnecessary thickness to it. Um, I guess you could say now I want to do the legs, which we can't see every part of the leg because I think it's a bit obscured by the hair. Um, I'm seeing like another form that I didn't see before. It looks kind of like a collar around this area. But yeah, I'm gonna draw the legs now. And the legs are so matchstick-like. They're very thin. I think I drew the pilot holes a bit too large. And it looks like there are little hooks on the end of its uh, feet. Okay. Now I'm gonna draw the last leg, which does some interesting things. I mean, clearly there are more legs. We just uh, can't see all of them based on that perspective. Interesting thing here, I'm seeing, it's hard to tell what these are for, but I see like two little spike-like things. I really can't see this portion of the leg, so maybe I shouldn't draw all of it. Okay. Yeah, what a shame we can't see the rest of that leg. But I bet it goes something like that. Probably. <laughs> oh, there was this leg over here, which we can't see all of, but it's just a little bit of that match stick. But yeah, I didn't add to the end of the proboscis here. I think it has enough thickness. I think doing that kind of adds a little bit too much. I think so. I think keeping it like this is a good healthy balance. Um, looking at the abdomen one more time, it's hard for me to say if I should maybe do something like that to kind of put a focus on it. I, I think the hair kind of does a good job at um, obscuring the points where it would uh, glue together to the thorax. But yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this for the most part. I mean, there's always more detail that you can add. And I think possibly the gap here in its wing, I made it a little bit too big when it should have been a bit more, maybe like, you know, kind of like that. I think it should have been a little bit more like that. But yeah, I hope this video kind of uh, helps you understand the construction of this uh, butterfly. I think if I had a critique of myself, it would be I made the thorax a little bit too big because I kind of, I kind of made the hair. I think the hair is what kind of uh, confused me and kind of made me um, overestimate. <laughs> but you know that uh, happens sometimes perhaps even the uh, the abdomen I made too long as well when should have been much shorter I kind of made the butterfly a little bit larger than um, the image to the left 
But yeah, I hope this helps you. And uh, thanks again to James for this uh, butterfly. Um, if you have a question, please ask in the comments. If you like the video, please like it. And if you and if you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for listening. I do greatly appreciate it. Bye.